Hi Aquarius, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 25th of May to the 31st of May and we are in the uh, house of Gemini now so happy birthdays to the Geminis if you've got Gemini children or Gemini partners there will be celebrations and life is getting back to you know, a little bit more to normal thank goodness for that my cards have arrived uh, the ones that I've been telling you about um, it's taken nine weeks but ooh, there's going to be also news coming along if you would like to have to win uh, to have a chance to win a deck um, then have a look at my reviews um, on the how uh, Shadowland Tarot uh, by Monica Bravinsky and that's one of my favorite decks now well I had a Lenamon deck but now I've got the tarot deck as well. I've only also got uh, the an, a new Lenman deck, and that is called the Mirror Truth. So have a look at the reviews, and I'm using my crystal deck and the White Witch's deck. Okay, and postcard from Spirit. Um, I got a tip from. Uh, a beautiful viewer, a cyber angel, and they said, I don't like uh, Diana Virtue, why don't you have a look at, um, a call it, uh, Baron Reed, I already had three decks from her, she is a beautiful artist, but um, I did have a scout around on uh, uh, internet and uh, I ordered them, and that's the new cards the postcard from heaven and I think they're lovely I will be doing a special reading once I've done all the romance readings for next month and the readings for this week because they keep on coming back and it's a lot of work so I hope you do appreciate it so show us with by giving us the thumbs up and becoming a member of the channel and click on the all button underneath the be in the bell so click on the bell and then click on all and then you'll be notified when something new is happening but there will be a competition and um, I'll let you know uh, what uh, the competition will be so keep a, an eye out on my website because I will be posting most of the news there okay um, just to get my website noticed and uh, that people do share my website as well so please share and like with family and friends it's going to be worth it because you can win this deck there might be more competitions um, because I have uh, the okay from the publishers to give away uh, sh the Shadowland Tarot deck but I'm still busy doing this and then I'm going to put a video together on what you have to do to win the Shadowland Tarot. This, like I said, this is for the 25th to the 31st of May 2020 and the first card that you have is the Queen of Pentacles. I think this is such a beautiful deck. It is um, not scary at all. In the first instance you might think it's scary but it is quite beautiful it's vibrant it's colory and uh, a sense of humor <laughs> even the cat is stirring the pot it's just those little quirky details that I love in this deck it's my favorite deck of all at the moment okay you've got the Queen of Pentacles that means the Queen of Pentacles you know that the King the Queen and the page represent um, zodiac sign so the queen of pentacles that is Virgo okay that is Virgo so you might be meeting a Virgo okay Aquarius but don't exclude um, a Taurus or Capricorn um, but the queen does stand for Virgo she also represents Mother Earth okay and that means fertility so if you want to get pregnant then it's a good time to get pregnant 
um, if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. There might be a birth, a birth of a child or birth of a project, like buying a house, doing upper house, new work. Also, growth, blossoming and harvesting. If you've invested in something, then you might see your return now, this Monday. Okay, Cap uh, Aquarius, and you've got the stalk. You've got the stalk, and that means again, moving home, starting again, a birth of a project or of a child, a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue. So if you've fallen out with somebody, let's say, and uh, you said, I don't want to see you again, then it will be made up and will be all alright. There will be a new beginning in this friendship. This could be with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that is on Monday. Or the Queen of Pentacles might be moving in with you. Or like you might be buying a house together. On Wednesday, you have the death. Again, you're in a transformational period. You're, let's have a look. Death is transformation, is also an ending, but also a new beginning. And the way I interpret this is that you might be just sitting there cradling and waiting for this new beginning to arrive. It won't happen, you won't happen, so get out of your comfort zone and start, because it is here right now. And 13, uh, to me, means friendship, okay? In the I Ching, it means fellowship. So perhaps somebody is helping you, starting to get into this new period. You're no longer the caterpillar. You will be the butterfly. Look, you no longer will be small, you will be big. Amazing. Again, you've got the scythe. You are cutting away from the past. You're letting the past go because this is also leaving the past behind. Because you have there's an ending of the face, a new beginning. And with the scythe, why do you have a scythe? Well, because you will harvest what you have already harvested life experience and life knowledge, wisdom. You will cut away, you will cut away through the, the what you call it, uh, the, the grass or the weed or uh, the grain, uh, because that's what the scythe was used for, to cut the grass or the grain, and so they could harvest. So you're make cutting away a new path for yourself. Well done. A ten, an ending, a new beginning. On Friday, you are advised to take time out. This could be to relax, go away for the weekend, or for meditation, or contemplation, and evaluation, because there is a new dawn breaking. And you might have to think about what you want to do with this new dawn breaking. Ooh, that could be, uh, like I said, moving in together, buying a house together. There are partnerships on the hor um, horizon. Perhaps you're going on a honeymoon. 25 is 7, and this is a 4. Four is proper foundation, stability, sound as a pound. Okay. This relationship is sound, or this partnership. If you are investing, it will see its um, a return on profit. If you are opening up a business, now you have the ace of ones. So it could be a business partnership. It could be a, 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 a new passion. Could be your own uh, 
a little business that you're passionate about something let's say you are a knitter um, or uh, an artist and you want to open up your own gallery or your own paint shop this will be successful you might even start doing it with a friend a loyal and trustworthy friend as you have the dog now in this oracle deck of um, Monica she has a mask but it's it's the dog it says a dog but this is the dog the mask of a dog and we, we I did an interview with this beautiful lady and I thought it was a centipede but she said it was a flea the loyalty of a dog or where would you, who would you be loyal to that's you would you be loyal to the dog or would you be loyal to the flea so be careful that's a warning okay and that's the other way of looking at the cards okay now your hands might be on fire with this because I'm looking at this and it's you know I've only had this deck for two days and it's it, it it's every time I see it then um, it uh, changes so there is the uh, the hand is on fire so pro perhaps your hand is burning to start to start work and we were talking about a paint shop or an, a, a knitter well this lady is holding a flute I think and so she wants perhaps wants to start um, singing or playing the flute <laughs> it could be somebody around you it could be that you're taking up uh, exciting new hobby a passion like I said but it could also be a job because once stand for creativity that's hobby and action is action is work um, or a relationship with a fire sign this could also be the uh, Virgo it will be a very hefty uh, relationship it will stay um, because of the ring and the four of swords there's a honeymoon and a four means stability and you've got luck on your side a seven and then it's a new beginning it will be very fiery a very sexual relationship Ooh, Aquarius what are you up to <laughs> but there will be loyalty hopefully so you know because you've got the dog and the dog means loyalty trust and luck okay so be careful uh, who are you loyal to are you loyal to the dog or is the dog loyal to the flea in other words is it loyal to somebody else before you start make sure that you have all the knowledge and then you've got the king of cups so it could also be a cancer so cancer is also in your reading this week so it's the queen of pentacles Virgo um, you've got death that is a Scorpio again a water sign um, all the all the fire signs and now you've got an other water sign so cancer and Scorpio but don't exclude uh, Pisces he's a loving nurturing caring man he's got his emotions under control he's a loving lover that's true he's because he's caring and nurturing he's very stable okay he didn't reach that uh, status for nothing he's been uh, through uh, the the dramas of life and he's learned and he's cut away he's he's reached the status of the king wow and you've got the Sun and one in three is four again stability so this relationship work or love is stable you might go on holiday move home moving in together okay because you know that loyalty and trust is you can't buy that okay you need all the information though because the Sun is also uh, you you are in the spotlight um, but it also means it's illuminating 
so you need more information you need more information before you start this big thing if you're buying a house together boom then make sure you read the small print in the contracts even also if you start a new job read the small print in the contract cover yourself you've got luck on your side okay number two you're in balance and you've got the six of diamonds now the six of diamonds you all know if you follow me is the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles it's give and take somebody might give you um, a gift the six of pentacles or you might be better off so you might give somebody a gift now you have uh, lithium quartz you've got lithium quartz and the lithium quartz is also number 33 double number again a six so you've got a six here and a six here the angels are with you you're balanced there, um, this this quartz stands for harmoniousness peacefulness joyful inter uh, interconnections Ooh, with um, with definitely if you're partnering up okay great stuff this this crystal helps you to calm down all the activity in your mind so your mind will not go round and round and round taking rest just take rest allow your mind to be active for when you meditate or take 10 minutes out to contemplate and evaluate allow you reset your mind to doing that every day okay and it calms us down in our head and puts us back in touch with our bodies especially if you meditate you can download this uh, I've seen them on Pinterest these cards so you can if you haven't got the cards you can go to Pinterest type in crystals uh, crystal oracle from uh, Baron Reed call it Baron Reed and then you will find the pictures you can print it down you can put it where you need where you in your sacred place in your private space and you can meditate with it either in front of you or you can put it down on your chest and this is also a new deck and you've got temperance and I think they're so beautiful the artistry is beautiful and we've got another fire sign that is Sagittarius that is Sagittarius um, I'm trying to find the cards now Aquarius you are the star in the zodiac sign so I love these 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 uh, these cards because they're also brilliant for tattoos and you've got the star now this is the star card very mystical I'll put it here so that you can see and if you would like to see all the cards then have a look at the review if you're thinking of getting a, um, a, a tattoo perhaps you might find uh, one of the cards a tattoo it's the big arcana and temperance belongs to the big arcana and it also represents um, what you call it um, Sagittarius and temperance means balance trying to keep balance perhaps balance in love balance uh, with your head and mind or at work and home so and I'm going to also read the short uh, uh, reading from the book because it is the White Witch's Tarot I've also done a review on that like I said so go and have a look the beautiful pictures beautiful artistry restraint that's what temperance means you could feel tied up that you can't carry on you can't get going 
like I said, here in this card, you've got a little man being held by the other, by the crow. You have to get into come into action, but you have to meditate and contemplate bef before. Think about how you're going to do that. Sometimes we come to find we are of two different minds. Again, two different minds. That's why we need to think. A dove of love, a hawk of hate. One will not negate its mate. Both remain within the, this state to battle for imagined gains. Patience is the cure, they say, to all the ills of night and day. Refrain, restrain, restrain. Walk away, find another way to go. You, ju you just can't see it when you are low. No, don't be low, don't be depressed. Take time out, get your mind in peace. Lithium quartz is there to help you. It, they all work. When you are low, virtue has a value that transform, forms to weathered ones. Can brave all storms. You can. You're stronger than you think. You can brave all storms. Just take time out. Use the quartz. And that will c calm your mind. Okay. That will calm your mind because harmony will be here and joy and peace look at all the beautiful cards you've got luck boom luck growth transformation you've got virgo scorpio the the king of water cancer um you've also got all the fire signs a leo again so water or leo is significant for you now your last card is a postcard from heaven. You are divine beauty. And you've got the elephant with its trunk up, curled. That means good luck. That's what my mum used to say. Okay, dear Aquarius, we are a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey life's journey cutting away the grass for a new path we uh, communicate with you through the language of oracles dreams signs metaphors and omens in your life on earth however clarity in your communication is essential to being understood you don't speak in symbols and if you did you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you are being asked to have integrity. There we go, the word integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met and the third is to allow the other person, organization or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps you can most definitely expect an answer. If your favor, affirmative in your favor, affirmative, we say, loving you so very much. And dot, 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 you know who it is that loves you. Okay. And what did I say? Something will come round 360 degrees. So there will be communication. Make it clear when you communicate. Leave the um for the waiter. Um, I forgot the English word now. 
I'll have to have a look. I don't like uh, the word reproach, but um, don't main make any accusations if uh, you have a quarrel with somebody. Um, if you did have a quarrel with somebody, um, then don't reproach. Don't make any accusations. You did this, you, you did that. Make a new start. Let it, the 360 degrees happen. So something is coming. What was wrong will come right. Okay, so don't worry. If somebody has a question, you can do it. But like the message in from Spirit, it says you've got to do the three steps. Be clear as to what you want. Let um, know your boundaries. Let the other know what your boundaries are, and know their boundaries. And definitely, if they are a fire sign, if there's too much passion, and you want to get married, yes, that could be the case. You most probably will because you've got the luckiest cards in the deck: the sun, the 360 degrees turn round, a, a a birth. Uh, a, a, that's the um, Queen of Pentacles, and then you've got a new start, a transformational period, the death, wow, absolutely amazing, wow. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aquarius, let me know uh, by showing your appreciation, please give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends, ciao ciao, see you in the live sessions and if not, in the next video.